Guys, me and my group have spent over 200 hours combined playing LEGO Fortnite since release, with over 100 hours in a single server. And today, I'm going to be showing you all the crazy builds, all the amazing stuff we've done, and then at the end, we're going to be going on a pretty epic adventure, and we're going to use our crazy new tech to do it. But first, there were a couple of things I didn't want to waste the resources on doing it in survival, so uh, I thought I'd show you them first. First up, we don't have PvP in Fortnite LEGO yet, but in the event we do, I've been getting ahead on designs for a TNT missile you can fire at the enemies. It's our first test flight. Let's go. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. It's... <laughs> okay, I promise the next builds are much better than this. It's what it looks like, people. I made a rocket ship in Fortnite Lego. We got thrusters. We got more thrusters and a single remote at the top. I actually have no idea if this is going to... Oh, no. Are you kidding me? A freaking chicken almost just... Knocked it over. Stop. Go down. It's actually working with the freaking chicken. God, <laughs> I do not believe that. You know how long that took to build? I've created an upgraded rocket. And I've cleared the area of any chickens. Let's see how this one goes. Three, two, one. Lift off. Oh my God. Oh, bro. Oh, we're moving. Holy crap, we're moving. It's still going. Holy crap. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> We hit the ceiling. There's literally a roof on the map and it pushed me through the floor. Excellent. All right. Well, that was complete chaos. I'm just going to go show you my village. Things work way better there. All right, guys. This is my Lego world. Well, not just my Lego world. I actually started it with my mods. See, we've got one house there, another there, another one over here in the distance. But this was actually like the second seed. I ever generated. You spawn right here. I'll put it in the description if anyone wants to give it a go. Some seeds are hit or miss. This one is beautiful. Together, we've spent well over 100 hours on this server so far. I don't really want to show my house that much because as you guys probably could tell from the video, I'm just getting addicted to trying to build really cool stuff. But you can see, I found out lights don't light anything up at all, basically. But fires do great. So we've got a fireplace, we've got a little seating area. Don't know what I'm doing with that. We've got a little kitchen, table, upstairs. You don't want to see upstairs. But now this is the cool area. And I got a lot of things to show you, including my first ever airship. This is literally version beta. This is like, this is like a real beta airship. And I'll tell you what, the first time I tried to build it, things did not go well. Keep it near the ground. I'm going, come back. Everything's fine. This was all part of the engineering design. Okay. Stop, you're gonna crush me. That's a tree, Alicia. That, if you like, do not let it float away. Just bring it down flat. Bring, hold it down, hold it on, hold it on, hold it on now. Yep, off, off, no, on. Oh, fuck, oh God, oh Jesus, Alicia. <laughs> now eventually I patched it up. I got it working. I figured out how to actually put it together properly so that that didn't uh, happen. But then I had a problem. It, it parks itself all the way up there. And uh, you can technically weigh it down by like, putting a whole bunch of like stone on it, but that can break it too, because uh, you're not really supposed to be able to build those things. So then I had an idea. We need an elevator. Now the airship, I kind of built based on a previous design I saw, but the elevator, this is all me, baby, which is probably why it's completely scuffed. You want to get on the elevator? All you got to do is jump on, interact, and you can see we got multiple floors here that have nothing on it. But when you get to the top, you need to choose to go out that way if you want to go on a gliding adventure or you walk inside. The elevator slowly returns itself back down and then you just jump right out to your airship. Now, the last one you guys saw didn't didn't really work that well, but this one actually is fully functional. What? You, this doesn't even make sense. It would appear this airship is broken. Now over here, we got the workshops where we kind of put everything together. Meow schools in, in Lego, all I see is a hype beast wearing off white. Oh, look at this. We just got gifted a whole bunch of stuff. Thank you. Shout outs to Vic. She's been helping a lot. This is where all the production happens. And then up here is where we store things. Try and keep it organized, but I'm going to be honest. We need signs, Epic. We need signs. That's where the villagers live. You don't need to see them. We have to actually keep re-getting new villages and re-upgrading our totem because uh, it just, it keeps deleting itself. And then in here is the kitchen. Kitchen and kind of eating area. So we've got all our cooking stuff in here. We got the grain mill. We got a juicer. And yeah, 
That's pretty much everything you need for a good operating base. God, I love that elevator. But all right, now it's time for the best thing I've done so far. And I, I'm honestly, I've still got to upgrade it a little bit more. We got to get like, you know, chests on it and a whole bunch of other things. But right now it's functional because this thing is a lot more stable and has a much lower tendency to fall apart. So the way it works, you can see a left, you can see a right. And you can also drive forward and take off with this. So now you don't even need an elevator. You can turn, travel in this direction. Occasionally got to reactivate it so it keeps going. Okay, it almost sounded like something popped there, but we're fine. When you want to come into land, we've got a landing strip. Except the the wheels did just break. So I'm gonna have to really hope that this that this works without that. Look, like I said, it's mostly there. It's just slightly beta. Oh god. Back off. Turn, please, and then turn. Oh god. Look. I'm still learning. Am I on target? Come on! Hey! Like I said, another easy landing. So like I was saying, to round off this epic build video, we're going to take our new vehicle on an adventure. Because you might recall in my first ever Fortnite LEGO video, we got taken out by a brute. Back then, I was no one. But now, I've got an elevator. All right, we're going to wait till dawn. And then we're taking that boy out. Sun is rising, which means... It's time for us to go on our adventure. I don't know, it seems like a long way to the balloon. Lucky I've got an elevator. Okay, I might be getting a little bit excited about the elevator, but it's so smooth, man. Even how it just like lowers itself back down to the ground. Oh, I just love it. We don't have wheels on this thing still, which you know what? I just see as an enhanced braking mechanism. Revenge comes from the air. We'll go along the coastline here for a little bit. And then, oh my God, oh my God. Get me back on. I love Fortnite Lego, but I feel like I can cancel any plans I had to learn to skydive because there is nothing scarier than flying these admittedly semi-dodgy vehicles around. Oh, it's raining. Cinematic. God, dude, look how fast we can fly. We're coming into sand brute territory. These guys are, I believe, the hardest. We found one! Part of me does want to kind of try hitting him from the sky, but... Oh, Jesus. That's probably a good reason not to. I'm going to park up on this hill. Got to leave this thing somewhere semi-safe. It's actually an improvement without the wheels because normally this thing would start rolling everywhere. Spiders, you are the least of my worries right now. Although silk means balloons. And trust me, after, after going through 87 prototypes of these things, I'm a big fan of balloons and silk. Oh, broody boy. Wait, is he gone? He left. I mean, honestly, if I saw an airship like that coming at me, I'd probably leave too. All right, back on with the... The hunt continues. Once you get a bit of practice at flying, they're actually pretty easy. I know I didn't look good when I was trying to land before, but trust me, I'm getting better. You know what? I'm changing my recommendation. If you want to build one of these, don't do the wheels. And also, don't build it at all if you struggle with anxiety. God, imagine trying to find one without this, though. As frustrating as this is, it's pretty efficient. It's literally sunset. I've been searching for a whole day. Oh my god. I found one. I'm just going to try and stay nearby for now. Unless I can park this up on the cliff. There's a tight parking spot there. Oh my god, this could be perfect. Almost perfect. Honestly, almost perfect. Oh wait, I'm going to take this rock out. It's going to be spot on. Oh my god. I bloody nailed it. Oh god, he doesn't sound happy. Oh, he does not sound happy. Run, skeletons, run. I want to try and get to somewhere that is not nearly as close. He knows... He knows I'm right above him! Wait, could I just... <laughs> this is why you should have evolved. You beat me the first time, but you can't fly. Height is your weakness! Bro, he's just sitting there. He's taking it. Most anticlimactic battle of all time. Nah. I, I gotta finish this properly. Oh, no. They're the oh, Jesus Christ. He almost already wrecked me. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh, my... Okay, I'm gonna check... If there's, by some miracle, my emergency vehicle's working. Otherwise, we just got to go back. What happened to you? All right. Screw it. Our target is all the way across the ocean. But there's no way I am leaving that thing behind. All right. We're almost there. We're almost back. I went from a man with an advanced flying machine to a man with a baguette. And we got all our crap back, baby. All right, we're back on. Take some time to eat a baguette, and then I'm finding this brute. I actually feel sorry for everyone playing this game who hasn't figured out how to do this yet. Because it is like a game changer, man. How are you going to walk in LEGO Fortnite? All right, I've been searching the desert for a day and a half. We're going to fly back along the coast. I guess just hope that we find one. I swear I heard one. I was literally heading back. It's right there. Wait, I got to make him chase me. Yeah. Oh, bro, drive by. I 
Accelerate! Oh my god, you didn't! 